Polypede Works here. Today we're going to talk about how one Charlotte Katakuri is the perfect mirror to one Monkey D. Luffy. With that being said, if you do not recognize the name Charlotte Katakuri, please leave the video now because there are going to be spoilers ahead for Whole Cake Island, the latter half of Wano, and there could be a few for Egghead. So letting you know this now so people aren't barking at me in the comment section for not warning folks. I've warned you. So with that, let's continue. No, no. Here's something that I notice on the topic of family relations and organizations that isn't really brought up when talking about Monkey D. Luffy and Charlotte Katakuri. Monkey D. Luffy was raised with two older brothers that aren't related to him by blood, but you know those brothers to be Sabo and Ace, right? Okay, Charlotte Katakuri, on the other hand, is a triplet. The closest brothers to him are Charlotte Oven and Charlotte Daifuku. What's weird about this is that Charlotte Katakuri essentially is what Luffy would be if Luffy was the oldest of the three when he was growing up and if he was the strongest because Charlotte Katakuri is on equal footing in terms of age with his two other brothers. However, he is the strongest of all of them, and he is the sweet commander, not them. The other sweet commanders are still his siblings, but they aren't the closest to him in relation. However, with Luffy, what's very funny about this is that when he was growing up with Sabo and Ace, he was dead last in terms of strength. He would lose every fight. What's also very interesting, too, that's a kind of odd parallel is that both Luffy and Katakuri have the worst abilities out of their siblings. Charlotte DeFuku, you know, has the uh, Puff Puff Fruit, and Charlotte Oven has the Heat Heat Fruit. Charlotte Katakuri is stuck with becoming food. That's not a good power. He makes it work, which makes him very similar to Luffy, as Luffy has the Gum Gum Fruit layer to be revealed to be the best fruit, but something he still has to work at because, like I've said in many videos before, he essentially is a human that ate a human human fruit, which presents its own challenges. However, now, as we know with Sabo and Ace, they both were users of the flame, flame fruit, and Logias are usually just better in terms of raw power compared to any Paramecia or Zoan, right? So I would say from a starting angle, Ace and Sabo do have the better abilities in terms of Devil Fruit, and then Sabo is kind of ahead of the race in terms of all three of them because he focused on hockey, and as... Kaido said back in Wano, hockey is the premier ability of the One Piece world, which, okay, but that's still a factual statement. So you could say in this situation, Sabo was ahead in terms of development, Ace was second, and then Luffy was last. What's another interesting aspect of this is that when we talk about these six characters, it's very eerie how each one connects to the other it's not really just about luffy and katakuri sabo and daifuku and then oven and ace are all weirdly similar for example sabo was a rich kid right a blonde rich kid who wears blue who grew up in very you could say posh surroundings right but chose to live the life of the slums because that's where his brothers lived right okay What's interesting about this is that Daifuku presents himself in a similar fashion to how Sabo presents himself now. Sabo, even as the second in command of the Revolutionary Army, presents himself in a very gentlemanly way, kind of like a stereotypical English gentleman. Daifuku presents himself almost like a prince. He's got these huge, opulent shoulder pauldrons that makes him look like a uh, fairy tale prince. He summons a genie, which in turn looks like an Arabian sultan. He's very princely, very upper crust in how he presents himself. Another interesting thing is that Sabo, before eating the flame flame fruit, primarily used a pipe as his weapon of choice, similar to how he used a pipe in his youth. Daifuku's genie uses what essentially is just a better pipe. He uses a polearm weapon, a I believe a Nakinata. So one could say they kind of parallel because essentially Daifuku's ability is just to summon a sultan using a weapon. It's not that fantastical, similar to how Sabo's 
basic moveset before eating the flame flame fruit was equally not as fantastical. On the other hand, with Oven, Oven and Ace, I mean, it's quite obvious. Both of them are characterized by the color orange. Both of them have flame powers. What's very funny about Ace is that Ace is really symbolized by the spade. Uh, he was the former captain of the spade pirates before that was needed into the fold of the Whitebeard pirates, as you know. But what's interesting about Oven is that his head looks like a Flora de Lis, which I'll put up on screen here. A Flora de Lis just looks like a cooler spade, if you ask me. Which, I mean, that's an opinion, but the similarities can be denied. Ace is represented by the spade, and then Charlotte Oven is represented by the Flora de Lis. <laughs> so when talking about the abilities of these characters, some things are really obvious, but we're not going to talk about the obvious things because I think they've been discussed already by me in this very video and by others. So let's go down the list of some very interesting observations. So I mentioned that Sabo, Ace, and Luffy used pipes as weapons in their youth. What's very interesting about this is there are three Charlotte brothers also use bladed weapons that are pole arms. For example, Charlotte Daifuku's genie uses a halberd. I called it a Naginata before. That's not exactly true. It's an unnamed halberd. Oven uses a Naginata, which is very interesting because he uses it in a very infamous scene where he's about to decapitate Pound, which we know he doesn't, which is weird, but you know. And then, of course, Katakuri is known for using his trident, Mulgra, which translates to mole or earth dragon. So all three of them used bladed pole arm weapons, whereas the three boys, uh, Sabo, Luffy, and Ace, used blunt pole arm weapons in their youth, pipes. And of course, they were, well, there were pipes. They're like, that's not a very refined weapon. What's very interesting, too, is that Sabo still uses a pipe, so he still uses a unrefined weapon. Another thing, uh, moving past the obvious parallel of Ace being the flame flame fruit user and Oven being the heat heat fruit user and both of these having uh, a fire element to them. It's very interesting that both Charlotte Katakuri and Monkey D. Luffy are primary examples and so far the only canonical examples of their respective abilities being awakened. So what I mean by that I mean, Charlotte Katakuri is our first example of A, a special paramecia, as far as we know, and B, a special paramecia being awakened. That's kind of a double whammy when you think about it, and I hadn't really considered that up until now. But yes, Katakuri is our first special paramecia, and said special paramecia is the first to be awakened. Then we have Monkey D. Luffy. Despite the weird cornucopia of mythical zones in the series at this point which i thought they were supposed to be rarer than logia but whatever out of all the mythical zones right he is the only one who is awakened kaido's not awakened yamato's not awakened to our knowledge not even marco is awakened luffy himself for sure no chaser is an awakened mythical zone what's interesting about this is that in both of these situations, you can kind of consider the two the worst of the best because Charlotte Katakuri is mochi. He's a food stuff. And then Monkey D. Luffy kind of is in a very compromising situation because he's a human that ate a human human fruit. So in both situations, both characters had to work phenomenally hard in order to make their abilities worth any kind of salt because the cars were stacked against him. Monkey D. Luffy, for the majority of his journey, has just made do with the basics of what his power allowed him to do on top of utilizing hockey and his own creativity. And the same can be said for Katakuri, mostly, because even now, Awakened, he still just makes food stuff. He now makes the ground and his surroundings into food stuff. So in both situations, you have characters who kind of were down on their luck in the beginning, but then made the most of it 
by a just effort and hard work, which is why I think Charlotte Cata Curry is the perfect mirror to Monkey D. Luffy. And with that, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like stuff like this, please feel free to check out my YouTube channel, Polly P Works. And if you like what you see, I would appreciate your subscription. Thank you so much. See you next time.